Hey, what's guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Hello Call Me. And yeah, so let's talk about the news. So, Steam Deck is Valve's new portable console. So, this is supposed to be, you know, basically the Switch for pro gamers. Now, I'm not going to cover the specs because I have no fucking idea what that means. <laughs> or I don't care. But what I find it really funny is Valve announced this just right after Nintendo announcing their Switch Pro, like a week after. It's <laughs> it's like, oh shit, the, the gamers, they're mad? They're mad because the Pro isn't what they expected it was going to be? Oh, well, uh, let me introduce you, the Steam Deck. I'm not sure if Valve was waiting for Nintendo to announce their Switch Pro, or they were going to make their own type of event, but then when they heard that people were mad that the Pro wasn't, what they expected it to be they're like oh shit let's let's do it right now let's re let's reveal it right now either way i am actually very excited uh, i even pre-ordered it right now i i um, uh, spent five dollars to reserve it uh, i think i got it but um i ordered it too late so mine's just coming out the second quarter of 2022 so yeah it sucks <laughs> i got the one with the 256 uh mvme ssd uh, because I, I don't want to, you know, get a, a weak ass, you know, memory card and have my games loading slow. So, you know, I got the second option. Um, they say there's an expansion. I haven't done too much research on that part yet, but I'm not sure if they're talking about like, oh, this is like um, what's called a micro SD or SSD hard drive or HDR hard drive. It's like I don't know which they're talking about. So yeah, I got that one. Um. My one thing that I'm worried about is that game files. Um, you know, games nowadays, they're like around between 50 to maybe 200, <laughs> depending on the game. So I'm imagining that maybe Steam's going to have an option where it's like, all right, you can download this game, but you're only going to play in 720p. Like, that would be great because, you know, I, like, of course, I'm playing on a portable console. I want to have 60 FPS. Of course, I'm going to choose 720p. Like, anyway, it's, I think the display is like 720p. So it's like, oh, I want the 4K option. It's like, well, you're not going to see it because the screen is 720p. And even if you can play it on a, you know, you can have it on your dock and then connect it to a 4K TV, it's not going to run well. <laughs> like, this is not, this is not a powerful, con this, like, this, this is not, this is not supposed to be your P PC in a Switch. It's just, you know, a capable portable console, you know, unlike the Switch Pro. Now, is this going to be a competitor to the Switch? I do not think so, kind of. Because look, even when the Switch Pro was announced, you know, like gamers like me, you know, um, enthusiasts, was disappointed because it wasn't what we expected it to be. We were hoping that, you know, we would get performance boost you know like maybe an upgraded cpu gpu battery but no it's just you know just a better screen and and it's bigger that that's it there was no significant upgrade about it no like, there's there was nothing pro about it but other than pro gamers like us you know a lot of people actually want to get this console like people were actually you know excited for this it's like wait what really you guys you guys want this so i think the Switch overall is meant for casuals, while the Steam Deck is going to be meant for pro gamers like us, you know, the, that want that premium portable experience. I don't think Nintendo is going to be shook by Steam or the Steam Deck, you know. I think they're actually happy that this exists because, you know, they could finally say, oh, you want 60 FPS on a portable console? We'll get the Steam Deck, all right? I don't think the Steam Deck is going to do as much numbers as the Switch. But I do think the Steam Deck will do well because, you know, people are asking this type of portable console. So, um, yeah. Um, will, will Nintendo compete with the Steam Deck? If it does well, maybe it will. You know, like, Nintendo, for the longest, has, has been telling people, yeah, we're not competing with anybody. We're just going to do whatever the fuck we want. And, you know, they chose the right market, which is the portable market, because no one is in it. Like, the uh, PlayStation, they said fucking and just left. Now, there is the mobile market with Apple and Android, but, like, you know, they're not having games that are, you know, the same experience as a console is. So the Switch is basically, you know, by itself in this market. Now, I've noticed a lot of console people 
reserving a Steam Deck themselves. And, you know, they're posting on Twitter. Every A, a lot of people are posting it on Twitter. I might, I might as well post mine on Twitter. But, uh, yeah, I see a lot of, you know, console guys do it because I guess, you know, the PSP, the PSP was a good portable console. It's just, like, PlayStation, they, they're they just like, oh, it's not doing well? Oh, fuck it. Uh, just just abandon this shit. All right, abandon shit. <laughs> like, right away, they just say, fuck it. Let's just leave. You know, every almost every, you know, time they attempt, you know, a portable console, PSP, PS Vita, you know, it's like PS Vita, people are still using that portable console. I, I'm still hearing people... Talk about, you know, oh, they're playing a game on a PS Vita. It's like, wait, what? 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 They, I mean, I mean, PlayStation doesn't support it, but everybody else does. So I guess a lot of those people are getting a Steam Deck because, you know, I, I think a lot of people do have, like, hacked PS Vitas. So, yeah, you know, like, it, it, because, you know, it's, it's no longer getting support by PlayStation. So, you know, try to do whatever the fuck you want with it. And also, uh, I heard that Valve is telling everybody, like, oh, it, once you get it, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Like, if you want to hack it, uh, put install Windows to it to get Origin, yeah, whatever. We, we don't care at this point. So, yeah, I'm wondering, like, once these console guys get a lick of PC, they're not going to stop loving it. <laughs> they're going to hate themselves for loving PC. You know, it's like it's like, it's like the first time sucking It's like the first time eating chocolate. It's like, oh, I, I like this shit. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, Hopefully it doesn't suck. Uh, If it does, or it, at least if I think it sucks, I'm, I'm just going to sell it. <laughs> like, you know, straight up. Because, you know, with resale values, with the chip shortage, you know, probably a lot of people aren't going to get their own, you know, Steam Deck on MSRP. So it's like, all right, I'm just going to resell this for, you know, a hefty price over here, you know. I'm going to make business out of this. All right, so we got some more companies trying to copy Nintendo's flow news. Yeah, all these niggas stealing my style. Can I get my flow back? And that is Nickelodeon's All-Star Brawl. So this is Nickelodeon's attempt to copy out of the Smash. And it seems pretty good so far from what I'm seeing, you know. It doesn't look like Nickelodeon just, you know, doing a lazy attempt to just copy out of a game that is popular right now. It's like, no, the quality is there, you know. The character designs looks pretty good. The animation, eh, I gotta see more. But, you know, it looks not bad. And also the roster. There's a good amount of characters that the old heads will love, and also the new generation would like too. Like, I'm surprised they got some old characters, uh, like, uh, what's it called, uh, Real Monsters? They got those characters, like, wait, what? Like, I remember it, but, like, I, when I watched it, I was, like, a baby. And I think it, it was already done by the time I was old enough to remember an episode. Now, when they announced this game, oh, man, Twitter went off. Twitter was making their list of characters that should be in this game, you know, uh, oh, what their smashes are going to be like, or, oh, who's going to be, you know, the, the, the broken character that they need to patch day one. So, yeah, everybody's pretty excited about this, including me. Um, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just interested, you know. I, I want to see how it's going to go. I might buy it uh, unless there's a lot of videos saying, you know, oh, shit, this is this kind of better than Smash. Now, I'm wondering if Nickelodeon, I don't know who the devs are, uh, that are making this game, are they going to put as much quality or as much in-depth to the characters as what Nintendo did? Because Sakurai, the guy who made Smash, not Nickelodeon <laughs> All-Star, but he, he put a lot of effort into creating a character and also the DLC characters, you know? Like, every Smash or every, you know, ability, every move, it's a reference from a game. Like, I I'm, I'm surprised he put a lot in the Minecraft character. There's, you know, mining, and then there's placing blocks, there's lava... There's, uh, what was it called? Uh, there was, like, the fences. It, like, I was so surprised he put that much effort into a character. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm wondering if Nickelodeon's gonna do that. They're probably not gonna do like that. Um, like, I I'm hearing right now that there's not gonna be voice actors for <laughs> this game. So, not even at least grunts or, you know, hellos or little intros when the game starts. It's not gonna have nothing like that. All you're gonna hear is explosions, uh, you know, fists going to faces, that's it. So this just might be, you know, just a, a lazy attempt to just copy whatever is popular. I don't know, maybe. But, you know, so far, it looks pretty good. We, we, gotta, we gotta have some YouTubers play the game and report to us saying, you know, if it's good or not. I don't know. So, um, 
Yeah. Um, the character characters I would like to see is uh, Catman because you know Adam West. <laughs> like Adam West, he's ha- he has such a funny voice. Like he was so funny in them as as Catman. You know, like you know, like as he gets older, the more and more it sounds like he's not acting, and and it just sounds like you know he's just reading the lines because. He forgot what he was doing, and he's just reading out loud. <laughs> that, that's what it sounds like sometimes. But, yeah, I, I like to see that. But, you know, too bad he's dead, and too bad there's not going to be voice acting. So it's just pointless. <laughs> Another character, uh, Dora. And I'm not sure. they They're probably not going to put her because, you know, this is supposed to be like you know violence so they don't want to have their nick jr characters in a fighting game but man what if they made her op a shit it's it just ruthless you know <laughs> so yeah if, if 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 they put her on a game and made her like slightly op i say slightly just because you know oh it, you can't make her op that's when you know the, the fans will you know get annoyed and ask for a patch but if you make her just slightly it's like yeah we could patch her but you know uh, people are just gonna call me that i'm trash and can't fight against her and you can you can count her easily it's like no i can't <laughs> if they do that no one is gonna look at Dora the same way they did years ago. <laughs> like, they're not gonna look at the Dora like, oh, this cute little innocent girl just, you know, going to the forest, talking to talking animals, and you know, teaching everybody Spanish. It's like, nah, this this is a fucking demon. So yeah, you know, it seems like Nintendo is gonna become obsolete. What what's next? Is someone gonna make a um, uh, I don't know, a game that copies out of Mario? It's like, oh, this Russian uh, cable guy. He 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 fixes ca- uh, cables on the TV. Oh, and he ends up in the TV world. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm making shit up. But uh, yeah, like, who, who's gonna copy out of who? Like, who, what's next? Like, what ideas is gonna be next out of Nintendo? So um, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me Twitch and Twitter. Send me Twitch, Twitch and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Bye.